Hello everyone, this is Blossom Carol. And I am here to do a reading for Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine, this is your weekly reading for this week. So Divine Masculine, please keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time it is fluid. So this reading can manifest this week. It can manifest later on down the line in time after this week. Or this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So, um, also keep in mind that divine feminine, divine masculine energy or reading could also resonate with a female or divine feminine if she's in her masculine energy. So keep that in mind as well. So I'm going to just jump into the reading. Divine Master, I did get like a message for you on the pre-shuffle. Um, Divine Masculine, somebody might tell you, told you so, or you're going to say that to somebody else, or that's how somebody feel, or that's what somebody thinking. And it's about something to do with almonds or nuts, or somebody is crazy. So somebody could, something going on with almonds or nuts, or somebody could be crazy. So Divine Masculine, you could be debating with someone about somebody's favorite uh, protein. And it could be like, Divine, Divine Masculine, you could be debating with somebody. And somebody is saying, so-and-so like cashews. And Divine Masculine, you like, no, so-and-so like almonds or something like that. Or um, somebody could be crazy, nuts. And somebody saying, told you so, or that's how somebody feel, or that's what somebody thinking. Divine Master, you or somebody else, about some type of um, nuts, almonds, cashews, or something like that. Or somebody crazy or something like that. So, it might be some type of exposure, some type of truth that's being brought to the light. And somebody's going to either say, feel, and I told you so. So, again, somebody's going to say it, or that's what they're thinking, or that's how they feel. <laughs> All right, so let me get into the display cards. So I'm going to put you guys a positive affirmation, a self-care card, an oracle from this deck, and a message from this deck right here. So let me pull y'all a message, y'all oracle. What's Divine Master's oracle and or message from Spirit for this week for Divine Master? Not doing reversals. All right, so we have trust. When love is invited to take over, Right actions arise at the right time. Allow me, dear divine, to wait patiently until the timing is right. Let me rest in the unknown until a clear path is shown. So divine master and spirit wants you to trust this week until a clear path is shown. So divine master, like I said, in divine feminine reading, divine master, your intuition might be confirmed this week. Your inter I also I also heard Divine Masculine, you might help somebody like in the nick of time. Divine Masculine, you could have been telling somebody not to go somewhere. And Divine Masculine, you might follow somebody. And it's like this person might get into like trouble or something. And you're like right there because you was telling this person not to go somewhere or something like that. So um, wait until a clear path is shown. <coughs> So, Divine Masculine, that clear path could be you saying to somebody, I told you. So, something might be confirmed or something like that. Your intuition, Divine Masculine, or something like that. Divine Masculine, you were born to be a legend. Is at the bottom of the deck. Divine protection and intervention. Divine Masculine, if somebody's trying to put you in danger this week, um, you're, like, you're highly likely to escape. But you might have to go into prayer or trust. If this is like an unexpected situation, Divine Masculine, a clear path is going to be shown. You might have to be patient about something. You might have to be quiet, remain quiet. I don't know if somebody could be chasing somebody or something like that. But a clear path is going to be shown. Divine Masculine, you were born to be a legend. And you have divine protection and intervention. All right. What's Divine Masculine self-care? What is Spirit suggesting for Divine Masculine? Okay, yeah, patience. Yeah, throughout. 
My hands is a little ashy. It is safe to wait. So Divine Masculine, Spirit wants you to wait. So if somebody trying to rush you, Divine Masculine, for self-care, Divine Masculine, this is self-care. Spirit wants you to wait. So Divine Masculine, somebody could be trying to rush you about something. And for self-care, for your self-care, Spirit is telling you to wait or suggesting that you wait. And trust that everything is going to be, be okay if you wait. So you don't have to rush to my master. Give me a positive affirmation for the divine masculine. Okay, it came right out. There's nothing as there's nothing as important as my well-being. I come first. Other people and their expectations come second. I can help others only if I take care of myself first. So divine masculine, this is your self-care. I mean a positive affirmation. So it say there's nothing important as your well-being. You come first, other people and their expectations come second. You can help others only if you take care of yourself first. So that's your positive affirmation, Divine Masculine, for this week. <laughs> All right, give me a message for Divine Masculine for this week. What's the message? Give me another message. So Divine Masculine, you got similar energy as Divine Feminine. Different cards came out, but it's basically almost saying the same thing. Divine Masculine. All right, give me a message for Divine Masculine. Yeah, it came back out. Third eye is awakening, underestimated. So Divine Masculine, somebody could have underestimated you. Or Divine Masculine, you could have underestimated um, somebody else. Divine Master, you could have underestimated the most high, your angels, your ancestors. But they're still going to come through for you. And then we have honest. So somebody's third eye is awakening. Divine Master, yours or somebody else's. All right. Give me messages for Divine Master. So I'm going to pull three and go from it. Ooh. Yeah, spirit told me to take that one. So they, he, she need to stop. So divine masculine, you right. Somebody need to stop. And then we got angels. And then they say you need to stop. So divine masculine, I'm hearing. You might say something to somebody repeatedly this week. Divine masculine, once you say what you got to say. And you said it how many other times you're going to say it. You need to stop. Like, stop talking. Somebody might have to learn something the hard way. Or Divine Masculine, you kept saying something to somebody in the past. And they probably wasn't listening to you. So Divine Masculine, you need to stop. Like, trying to tell somebody something or trying to show somebody something. And Divine Masculine, that's when this person might realize that they need to stop. They need to stop. But Divine Masculine, you need to stop trying to um, get this person to see your side of the story. You said what you had to say in the past or this week in Divine Masculine. This week, somebody's going to realize that you were right about something. Or something like that. <sighs> Injustice, you're doing well. Do it yourself, yeah. So Divine Masculine, if you was dependent on someone, maybe a karmic... You probably need to stop being dependent on someone. Or something like that. Alright, so we have so what? And then we have sleep and then 3D. So somebody, something going on with somebody being asleep or somebody taking a nap. Ooh. So maybe somebody be saying so what? Somebody need to stop saying so what? Or somebody got an I don't care attitude and they need to stop. Home, house, home. And then we got I told you so. Trees and shelter. All right.
All right. So somebody need to stop. They, he or she need to stop. This person be saying, so what? Or somebody be saying, I don't care about something that they should care about. Or somebody going to say, so what to this person because they need to stop. And something going on with a house or a home or something might take place at somebody's house or a home. <clears throat> I heard somebody need to stop doing something at somebody else's house. So somebody be doing something at somebody else's house. Okay, let's see what this is about. All right, what's going on with they, he, she? They, he, or she need to stop. All right, so we have confinement, profession. So maybe somebody worked from home or somebody's trying to make somebody work from home. Somebody could be trying to... Um, somebody wants somebody to stay home or somebody wants somebody to stay in the house. Somebody, it's like somebody wants someone to be confined to their home with a profession. So somebody wants somebody to work from home or something. So I don't know, something going on with a, a, a couple. Or somebody be trying to tell somebody what to do at their own house or something. Then we got mask. So yeah, somebody being deceptive about what they do for work. Somebody need to stop. Somebody's being deceptive. Yeah. And then we got to stop right here. Yeah, so somebody definitely definitely need to stop. Or somebody need to stop. Somebody could be lying about their profession. Or somebody be lying about how they feel about their profession. So somebody could be saying, oh, I hate my job, but they really love their job. Or somebody saying, I love my job, and they really hate their job. Somebody feels confined pretending to a profession, and they're lying. Or somebody is being deceptive around what they do for work. Captivity, tolerance, unfreedom. Yeah, somebody needs to stop. What's going on with so what? Or somebody be lying to somebody. Saving. Preservation, collection, meanness. All right. What's going on with so what? Relaxation. Somebody could be lying about something. Somebody's lying about something. Somebody could be um, collecting something or collecting donations or, and they're relaxing while they're doing it. Somebody's lying about something and they're saying, so what? So something is like all about the money and this person needs to stop or something like that. So I heard entitled, somebody feels entitled. So, I'm going to give an example of what somebody doing. This is like somebody who hates their profession. They feel as though their job or career don't pay enough. And this is the type of person that will take out like a fraudulent loan at the expense of somebody else to um, make up the difference. Or like make a, a fraudulent GoFundMe page and this person saying, oh, I'm sick or I got cancer or some type of terminal illness or something. But it's like, really, this person, is nothing wrong with this person. They just don't like their job or they're lying about the work that they do or they feel as though their job don't pay enough. And this person wants society to, 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 to pay for their expenses or something like that. So somebody could be taking out a loan at somebody else's expense or somebody making like a GoFundMe page or something. It's like this person is collecting money or something and they're relaxing. And this person saying, so what? I don't care. So somebody is taking somebody money or something, something like that going on.
Yeah, we got illness. Or somebody's taking advantage of somebody that's sick. Or somebody is saying somebody saying they sick is a lie. They really somebody's using an illness to make to collect something. And it could be money. And this person be collecting money and saving it. They don't pay for medical expenses. This person is not, is not really sick. They're taking their, these collections, these donations, and they're saving it. And this person, it could be two or more, more people involved. And the main person that's doing this, this uh, theft, they're saying, so what? And the other person is saying, I don't think we should be doing this or something like that. And somebody's saying, so what? So? So somebody could be too relaxed to be sick. That's because they're lying. They're doing something for the money. Or somebody goes to work. Somebody could be like a nurse or a doctor or a, a, a nursing assistant. And this person really don't care about the people's health. They just go to work for a check. Because maybe this person is trying to get a house or a home. And it's like this, this worker goes to work. And they cause more harm than good. Because they really don't care about people's health. And they just go to work and do anything. Or I'm hearing this person causes more harm than good while they're at work. And somebody could be saying to this person, if you don't like your job, you need to quit. Before somebody get hurt. And this person is saying, so what? I got to do what I got to do. I got to save money. I'm trying to get a house or a home. <clears throat> so it's like somebody is relaxing while somebody's sick. So this can be somebody who work in a hospital and it's like one of their patients is dying and this person don't get up and go check on them. That's because this person is not at work to prevent illnesses. This person is at work to get a paycheck. It's like their client is sick and this person be relaxing. And somebody like, so what? Yeah, look, robbery. Yeah. Or somebody doing something at somebody's expense. <sighs> so it's like, I'm going to give you an example. It's like collective. I'm hearing this could be somebody that live at a distance from you. This person could live miles and miles and miles away in a different state or something. And it's like collective. This person is using your address. Or something like that. It's like collective. Say like your home got caught on fire. And you didn't collect the GoFundMe page. Somebody might find out your house got caught on fire. And they're making a GoFundMe page at your expense. It wasn't really their house who caught on fire. It was your house. But they're making a GoFundMe page. They're collecting the money. And they're relaxing while somebody else is like really sick. Or somebody else. Something happened to somebody else. Somebody is doing something. Or somebody is using their profession to, to cause other people confinement. And this person needs to stop. So something that somebody do for work, their expertise, their talent, somebody's using their profession to cause other people confinement. And they don't care. They sit back and collect the money. And this person relax while somebody else is sick or something. So collective, I'm also just heard collective, if your friend or family member or loved one is sick and they have a nurse visit their home or some type of nursing assistant or aide visit your loved one's home, be careful of this person. Because somebody, they have a profession and it's like collective, this could be your house or this is your family member or your friend's home and this person be doing something and they be like, so what? So this could be a worker. Somebody doing something that can get them some type of robbery or disrespect. It's like if the company found out this person would get fired, possibly even jail time. Somebody doing something and then they saying, so what? I don't care. It ain't, it ain't my house. It ain't my home. It ain't my friend. It ain't my family member. It's not my elderly loved one or something somebody doing. All right, what's going on with house or home? Yeah, Fury.
Somebody could be mad because somebody else got a house or a home and they didn't. Evidence. So this could be a fire, this fury. So something could be going on with a house fire. Collective, just be mindful if you or somebody else you know experienced a house fire, somebody is going to make a GoFundMe page at the victim's expense. Or something like that. Something could be going on with a house fire. Offense, madness, unpleasant. Yeah, somebody might get evidence about something. Or somebody going to set their own house on fire for insurance. Or something. <clears throat> or just, I don't know if somebody's a professional uh, arsonist. Or somebody is like a professional, um, somebody is like a fraud. So it's like these pe this person or these people burn up houses, they burn up cars. Somebody be doing something. Insurance fraud. Collective, just be careful of somebody. For some of y'all, this is a stranger and this might happen unexpectedly. So, collective, say like um, somebody you know or whatever, somebody house catch on fire. It's like, collective, the two tenants that lived in the house was the victims of the fire. They made it out. But it's like another person that say, oh, I was there too. I was at home with such and such when their house caught on fire. This person trying to get like insurance, like a payout. So, somebody be doing fraud or something. It's like this person was like a neighbor. This person either set the fire and placed themselves at the scene. Or this person randomly was walking by and saw the house fire and went inside and like tried to play sick or something. Or this could be a car fire or a car accident. Somebody trying to get free money. And they either caused the fire or the accident or they placed themselves at the scene so they can get money, a payout. Or something like that. Somebody doing. So if an arsonist do something. Somebody might get evidence that it was arsenic. Like the, the fire was set on purpose. Because this fury could be a house fire. And somebody going to get evidence on somebody. And Divine Mask, when, when this get exposed. Divine Masculine, something going to happen this week or something happened in the past pertaining to an accident or a house fire or something. And Divine Masculine, you said, I bet so-and-so did it or something like that. And Divine Masculine, this week you write about, you might get, um, your um, intuition might be confirmed. Or maybe this could even be common sense. <laughs> you knew somebody did something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Clarify house or home. Yeah, calm. Yeah. So the person who could be getting evidence, this person is calm. Somebody could even be an undercover. It's like somebody investigating something and this person don't even know. So this investigator could be very calm. Or a mystery shopper or something like that. A private investigator. Or somebody might have a temper tantrum and this person didn't know that this person was around and saw something or heard something. So somebody could be having an argument or something and this person is around and it's like this person is playing it cool like they didn't hear nothing, but they heard something. So somebody got evidence that somebody could have anger issues or somebody is an arsonist or something like that. Somebody is calm while they get proof about something. So I'm asking, this could be you. Detection, investigation, proof. So somebody's going to be very calm. Or Divine Master, you could be pissed off about something. But you might keep your cool because this is not your house. And Divine Master, you might say, you know what? I'm going to keep my opinion to myself because this is not even my house. So it's like Divine Master, you get evidence and you could be pissed. But you're not going to say nothing. You're going to keep your cool because maybe this is not your house. 
or something or something yeah something like that going on but somebody being deceptive all right so let me get into the tail What's going on with Divine Masculine this week? What do Divine Masculine need to know? What can Divine Masculine expect? All right, the Eight of Cups. So somebody could, a Scorpio could be emotionally walking away from a person, place, or a thing. Or somebody might emotionally walk away from a Scorpio. Somebody could have, somebody could have left somebody in the past this week or, or, or in the past. And they might walk right into karma. It's like somebody left eight cups and then it's like in the present day five cups or something like that. It's like somebody walked away from something or someone emotionally. And then it's like now they five cups. So somebody's in regret about something. I can't remember. What did I do with the Bible over there? Let me the Knight of Swords. Yeah. Somebody could have did something very impulsively in the past. Somebody emotionally walked away from a person, place, or thing. Somebody could have also committed a crime and they left a crime scene. Somebody might regret that this week. So this could have been a crime scene. Somebody walked away before the police got there. Or somebody walked away impulsively. Somebody regrets walking away. Emotionally from a person, place, or thing. <laughs> and in the present, somebody has emotional regrets and losses. Because <clears throat> it's like once this person walk away, it's going to cause an ending. It's like death is on is going to automatically show up. Like this person walked away, so something is over. So this is like a business owner walking away from their business. Once the business owner walk away, it's the end. Like the business is done. Like there is no business. The employee's gonna have to find somewhere else. It's gonna have to find a new job. Or this could be a landlord. Somebody could have just gave something up. Yeah, somebody did something impulsively, and it, it automatically caused the ending. This happened in the past, and this person this week is going to have emotional regrets and losses. Yeah, somebody could have divorced of someone. It's like the ending of a marriage, or something happened to a, a Taurus. Somebody could be a Taurus. Or the ending of a marriage. Or when this person walked away impulsively, that was the ending of this person's intuition. It's like this person left behind, left their common sense, their ability to reason, their higher self. So it was the ending of this person's higher self when they did something impulsively. It's like this person don't have a conscience. They don't have, yeah, somebody lost their, their ability to like be high vibrational or I heard that was the last straw. So I'm hearing somebody walked away from their ability to have common sense, like something like that. Somebody did or somebody wasn't using their common sense or something. And now in the present. Yeah, they five of cups. Somebody has emotional regrets and losses because it's something they did in the past. It could have been a Scorpio, don't have to be. Or divine masculine, this person got Scorpio on their chart, or you're a Scorpio. Somebody could have Scorpio on their chart. It's a lot of water. Yeah, and then we got the six of swords. So somebody, 
Somebody emotionally walked away from somebody in the past. It was a foolish decision. And now it's like somebody holding a grudge against someone. The Six of Swords in reverse to me is somebody that's holding a grudge. Somebody don't want to forgive someone. Yeah, somebody holding a grudge. Yeah, because somebody was lying, cheating, still and trying to get away with something. And somebody could have found out. Or this is somebody's intuition going to, be, going to be revealed. Somebody's intuition is going to be revealed. Because the Seven of Swords in reverse is like somebody getting caught. Lying, cheating, stealing. So this is Six Swords in reverse. Maybe somebody need evidence about the Knight of Swords. And this is all the evidence somebody need to figure something out. It's like once somebody get concrete evidence that the Knight of Swords happened or who the Knight of Swords is, then it's Seven of Swords in reverse. And somebody going to be caught. So I heard like this, this is somebody knowing something intuitively. Their comp, their intuition just hasn't been confirmed just yet or something like that. So this is about somebody's conscience, somebody's higher self or marriage. It was an ending to somebody's conscience. It's like once this person did this, it's like somebody did something in the past and they're just now realizing that they shouldn't have did it and whatever they did, they can't take it back or something like that. Yeah, somebody was acting a fool. I don't know. Somebody could have broke out of jail or somebody left the scene of a crime or something. I don't know if this is a hit and run or something. <clears throat> All right. What's the spill with the Eight of Cups? What's the spill with the Eight of Cups? A groupie. Yeah. So somebody could have married their karmic or somebody a karmic. It's like somebody married their karmic. When they got into the marriage with the karmic, the karmic left their spouse and went with somebody else. It's like this person didn't know they were marrying a groupie. It's like one person wanted to be high vibrational and somebody else didn't. So this groupie emotionally walked away from somebody. Or somebody, yeah, I yeah. Or this week, somebody not going to have a choice but to walk away from a groupie. And it's going to automatically put an ending to like a marriage. Somebody, it could be a Scorpio, don't have to be. Somebody might file for a divorce this week from a groupie. I also see a low vibrational person took for granted a high vibrational person. When the high vibrational person walk away, this low vibrational person is just now realizing that I need the high vibrational person because I don't, I'm not intuitive. I don't have as much reason, as much knowledge as the high vibrational person. So somebody is realizing that they actually needed a person, place, or a thing to be successful, to thrive. Yeah, I see that too. Yeah. What's the spell with death? <laughs> yeah, salty. Yeah. This could have also been somebody with a bad temper. Somebody might lose a friend because of their bad temper. Or somebody with a bad temper might get hurt or something. Somebody salty, mad, and upset. Or this um this groupie going is gonna be salty, mad, upset because something is over. Somebody might divorce a groupie. And the groupie going to be salty, mad, upset because something is over. It's over. Or somebody's going back home to their spouse. 
Somebody might also be returning to their spouse as well. And the third party going to be upset. It's like there's an ending. Somebody ended like a, a, a third party situation in love because they're married. So somebody doing that too. What's this filled with the five of cups? Divine Master, for some of y'all, you could have been trying to tell somebody that their lover is married. And Divine Masculine, this person didn't want to listen to you. And um, Divine Masculine, um, this person going to find out the truth that their lover is actually married. And this person might come back, Divine Masculine, and tell you and confirm to you, you were right. I just found out so-and-so married. They married or something. What's the spill with the five of cups? Or Divine Masculine, you leaving your third party behind. You're going back to your spouse because you're married. Or something. Cloud nine. Yeah, somebody got tired of somebody. <clears throat> somebody was dating, married to, or connected to somebody who, like, could have had a bad temper. And this person always under the influence. And somebody could have, somebody could have kept telling this person, if you don't change your ways, if you don't stop smoking so much weed, if you don't calm down, if you don't go get Therapy, counseling, anger management. I'm leaving. The Knight of Swords will also... The Knight of Swords can also be physically abusive. So maybe when somebody get high, they get abusive. So somebody might emotionally walk away from the Knight of Swords. Because the Knight of Swords will put their hands on you. It's like this person get high and then they get physical. They be hitting on people or their spouse or lover or something. Or something. I heard somebody was getting assaulted by their karmic spouse. So somebody might walk away from their karmic spouse this week. Whew. What's the spell with the Knight of Swords? What's the spell? Knight of Swords. Baller. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody, um, somebody that could have been balling was very physically abusive. Or somebody thought they had the right to leave a scene of a crime because they're balling. Or somebody left someone for the third party because somebody thought the third party was balling. And this person might find out the third party ain't nothing but a pothead. Somebody could have left a very high vibrational lover or business partner to be with the third party. And this group be going to find out that. The third party is not balling. The third party got anger issues. The third party is a pothead. And the third party is unreliable. Maybe the third party is a moocher. It's like this person left a high vibrational person to mooch off of the third party. Not knowing the third party was a moocher just like them. Something like that happened in the past. And somebody could be getting karma this week. Somebody did something very impulsive because somebody thought they, somebody else was balling. So this could be a female. She could have left her husband because she thought her third party was balling. She thought the other man had more money than her husband or something. Or something. Or Divine Master, maybe you never got the truth about why your karmic lover left you. And Divine Masculine, you could be saying, I bet you it was because of the money. It had to be because of the money. And Divine Masculine, your family and friends could have been saying, no, Divine Masculine, I think it could have been something else. Divine Masculine, you work all the time. You do this. You do that. I, yo, 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 ex really loved you. She cared about you. And Divine Masculine, you could have been saying, no, no. She left me for the money because he made more money than me or something like that. 
And divine masculine, your intuition gonna get confirmed this week about something like that. What's this go with the heart song? Yeah, controller. Yeah, somebody was married to a controller. Or if somebody could have been very high vibrational, <laughs> it could have even been a tourist, don't have to be. But to somebody, to a low vibrational person, the higher font, it could be very controlling. So this could have even been somebody that was like on house arrest. Somebody could have skipped probation or went on a run. Somebody thought the higher font was very controlling. And this could also be like, the prison system, somebody's parole officer. This higher font could be very controlling. But it's, if this higher font is something high vibrational, to a low vibrational person, this higher font is controlling to a low vibrational person. Or something like that could have been going on. Or this is somebody using their, using their profession to manipulate people. So somebody could have been working for the higher font and they're very controlling. So this could be somebody working for the police and illegally tapping like people's phones, devices, or something like that. So if somebody in a high position of authority or leadership position was abusing their authority, that might come to an end this week as well. Or something. Or it might get exposed. What's the spell with the six of swords in reverse? Yeah, grown. Yeah. A low vibrational person wants to return or wants the forgiveness of a high vibrational person. And this high vibrational person is saying no. A high vibrational person is very unforgiving towards somebody who is being low, low vibrational. <laughs> yeah, somebody's saying no. So somebody that's grown is not forgiving someone. So Divine Masculine, I'm hearing, if this is you, be patient. Because you're going to find out the truth. Divine Masculine, somebody could be coming to you this week and they want to reconcile with you. But they're not telling you the whole truth. So Divine Masculine, stay unforgiving to this person for a little while longer. Maybe even this week. Something's going to get revealed to you. So if I'm asking somebody coming to you this week with a half truth. And if I'm asking you grown, you know, this person is like not telling you the whole story or something like that. Not with the childish games has priority straight, not willing to downgrade standards. Or maybe some of somebody's twin. Somebody's twin could be unforgiving towards the other twin this week as well. So divine masculine, this could be your divine feminine not wanting to forgive you because you could have left her for the karmic. Or divine masculine, this is you not wanting to forgive your twin, your divine feminine, because she left you for the karmic. It's a twin out here that's not budging. Yeah, this person grown. Yeah. So divine masculine, if it's you and you're waiting for your twin, your divine feminine to forgive you, Divine Masculine, you might have to be patient and wait a little while, a little while longer. Divine Masculine, Spirit probably wants you to go through a little dark night of the soul before you reconcile with your Divine Feminine. So, Divine Masculine, when your Divine Feminine rejects you this week, Spirit wants you to rest in the unknown until a clear path is shown. Because Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine could be pissed off at you. Or something. So Divine Masculine, something might be painful when your Divine Feminine tell you no. It might be painful, but Divine Masculine, your third eye is going to awaken to something. So Spirit is going to use your um, pain, this rejection, for a karmic lesson. Or something like that. So somebody's third eye is awakening. Somebody's going to see something that they never saw before. Or perceive something correctly for what it is. Somebody going to see something or perceive something correctly. And it might be through a painful experience. 
It don't have to be physical pain. It could be emotional pain. Or something like that. So this could be a two set of twins that could that's going through it. Or divine masculine, this is somebody else that you know, or your business partner, or something like that, or a family member, or a friend, somebody. Somebody going through this. <clears throat> somebody was being impulsive. They left somebody. They walked away from somebody. This person, a groupie. Somebody thought somebody was balling. <laughs> and somebody going to find out. Mm-mm. All right. What's the school with the eight of cups and groupie? Gratitude. Show more gratitude. So this is my ancestors card. So divine masculine, a groupie, a karmic, a low vibrational person wanted you to show them more gratitude. So they walked away from you. And this gratitude could have been divine masculine. Somebody wanted you to let them use you and you probably wouldn't. So a groupie might walk away from you, might walk away from you. I'm also picking up divine masculine. This person was posing as a spiritualist or a mentor of some sort. I don't know divine masculine. If this person was telling you that they're your ancestor or this person was trying to make you think that they get in contact with, with your ancestors for you, this person is a groupie. And they wanted you, they wanted you to, to respect them or show them more gratitude. And it's like they're a groupie. Or divine masculine, your ancestors want you to show them more gratitude. Because somebody could be protecting you from a groupie. So divine masculine, if you ate a cup, somebody this week, a person, place, or a thing, it's your ancestors influencing you to walk away. So if I'm asking, when you walk away, you might have to pay homage or say, oh my God, thank you, God. Thank you, God. I'm so glad I walked away when I walked away. If I'm asking whether you walked away in the past or this week, show more homage when you figure something out or your intuition get um, confirmed this week. Because your ancestors, when you ate a cups, somebody, divine masculine, it was your ancestors influencing you to do this. Because somebody could be a hothead or something. What's the scoop with death and salty? Yeah, meant to be. This relationship is magical. It's meant to be. Yeah. So it's an ending to like a relationship. It could be romance or in business or whatever. It's an ending to something being magical or meant to be. And this could be a marriage. So somebody might file for a divorce or something. Or if I'm asking, this is your ex-wife, or this is, this could be somebody's ex. So if I'm asking, for some of y'all, your ex-wife might get into trouble or something. Or your ex-wife going to get somebody else into trouble or something. Or if I'm asking, you're going to find out your ex-wife is cheating on their current spouse just the same way they cheated on you or something. Or if I'm asking, your ex-spouse left you for the third party because she thought this man was balling. So divine masculine, your ex-wife could be your karmic or your divine feminine. Yeah. For some of you, for most of y'all, this is your karmic. And this person not really high vibrational. Or this this person could be a Taurus. They're just controlling. Or something. Or somebody or a high vibrational person was being controlling for a reason. <laughs> this is the kind of energy where you say you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Basically. That's a scenario. Alright. What's the scoop with um, the five of cups with cloud nine? Seeing through the fog, your vision is getting clearer. Yeah. Yeah. Divine Masculine, be careful as well this week. Divine Masculine, somebody might slip something in your drugs. Divine Masculine, if you smoke weed, somebody might slip something in your drugs. And it could have been a groupie. 
Because somebody's third eye is awakening. Your third eye can awaken through, through drugs as well. Depending on what the drug is. So somebody could be seeing through the fog. Somebody's vision is getting clearer. Because something could be... Somebody's weed could be laced. So somebody need to be careful. Divine Master, be careful of somebody putting something in your, in your, in your weed. As well. And Divine Master, this could be your ex. And she could have did this to you because you didn't want to forgive her. Or something. Yeah, I see that too. Or well, Divine Master, you going to realize that somebody is just a pothead. Somebody a pothead. Or something. Somebody going to get some type of truth about somebody being on cloud line. Or something. Somebody going to get the truth. So somebody going to get this truth while they're high. Under the influence. Or somebody going to get some type of truth about somebody that's under the influence. Or something like that. Yeah. What's the scoop with Knight of Swords and Barley? Yeah, catfish. Yep. Someone is not who they appear to be. Mm-hmm. So the white masculine also I see for some of you guys too. If you're in a car with someone this week on the past, the white masculine, you could have been in a car with somebody. I don't know if this person did a hit and run or was in a high speed chase. Divine masculine, you probably always wondered why this person didn't stop. And you might find out this week. Because someone is not who they appear to be. So divine masculine, you could have been in a car with somebody who was catfishing you. And you was like, yo, 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 stop, stop, stop. And this person wouldn't stop. That's because someone is not who they appear to be. So divine masculine, you was the driver or you was the passenger. But somebody kept going. And they kept going for a reason. Because somebody was lying about something. So, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> oh, no. Mm. Or divine masculine, this is going on with somebody else you're connected to. And somebody could be telling you something. And Divine Masculine, you was trying to tell somebody that's not normal. So-and-so, if so-and-so got their license, if so-and-so told you they car registered, then why wouldn't the police try to pull y'all over if so-and-so didn't stop? All right, I had to pause the video, so I kind of forgot where y'all was at. But yeah, someone is not who they appear to be. And somebody that did something impulsively might get the truth this week. So the white masculine, this could be you marrying your karmic lover or something. Or this is somebody else. Somebody did something impulsively because somebody thought somebody was balling. But somebody going to find out that this person is not who they appear to be. So somebody thought somebody was balling. And they not. Or something. What's the scoop with the hierophant and controller? I also heard. Something could have almost been a mistaken identity. So the white master, somebody was about to stop you or approach you because they thought you were somebody else. So the white master, you wasn't who you appeared to be because you wasn't that person. Somebody was just being impulsive, like something like that. So somebody else, yeah. Some type of mistaken identity as well. Or attempted mistaken identity. Something. What's the scoop with the higher phone with controller? Yeah, you're hired. I don't know if somebody could be a CO. Somebody probably worked for the higher font. Or divine masculine in the past or this week, somebody could have dumped you or somebody else or somebody divorced somebody. 
It's like you were hired, you married somebody or somebody was your girlfriend. But it's like it's an ending because somebody is a controller. So the my master, somebody view you as a controller or this karmic was trying to control you. So it's an ending to like a commitment in love and romance or career or something. For you or somebody else. What's the scoop with the six of swords in reverse and grown? Desire. So divine master, somebody that desire you could be holding a grudge against you. It could be your divine feminine. Or divine master, somebody just want to use you for sex. Or is divine master, somebody was desiring you that wasn't supposed to be desiring you. So divine master, this could have been like your lover's sister your lover's aunt somebody that wasn't supposed to be your lover's best friend somebody was desiring you that shouldn't have been desiring you so divine masculine somebody might put you in an awkward situation and you don't know what to do somebody could have been flirting with you that wasn't supposed to be flirting with you and divine masculine this person did this one too many times to you and you're not going to forgive this person. And you might try to figure out how to expose this person. Or something. Or you trying to figure out when to expose this person. Or something. I also see Divine Masculine. If this is your Divine Feminine. She might not forgive you this week. But Divine Master, just hold on a little while longer. Because your Divine Feminine desire you. Maybe your Divine Feminine is, might give in because she want to have sex or something like that. Somebody, like, desire you or they want to have sex with you. But it's like, they could be upset at you at the same time, but they still desire you. So Divine Master, give it time. Your Divine Feminine might give in. It just might not be this week. Because she could be, she don't, she's not, she didn't forgive you yet. She still desire you, but she haven't forgave you or something. So, yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Divine Master, for some of y'all, y'all could have left y'all Divine Feminine for a karmic. And y'all trying to see y'all way back. And Divine Master, the vision that you might get clear to you is to be patient. That's what you might need to see. Just be patient. That's all you need is patience. It's not the end of the world. In due time. Your Divine Feminine is going to forgive you. <laughs> Just not right now. Or something could be a misunderstanding. Divine Masculine, if you're trying to reconcile with your Divine Feminine, your Divine Feminine is being unforgiving towards you about something she's accusing you of that might not be true. So, Divine Master, you might realize something and clear your name. Divine Master, whoever the Knight of Swords is, your Divine Feminine could have been thinking it was you, but it's actually not or something. It's like something could be a miscommunication. Somebody going to have to see something because somebody not saying nothing or somebody lied on somebody. Or somebody's not telling you why they're really mad or why they're really holding a grudge. Or something. But I'm going to put an ending. I'm going to end it. So something like that is going on with you guys. This week. So I'm going to end it. So this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And Divine Master, enjoy your week and thanks.